today is all about water. <laughs> so we are heading into town. We are going to be doing some showers. We're going to be getting some laundry done. And then we're also going to be filling up some of our water jugs. So we've been kind of like supplementing our water with. We have the giant tank up in the loft behind me. Um, but we also have some other containers we've been using for drinking water or for dish water, or dog water, um, stuff like that. So we had a couple really cold weeks, so it's warmed up a bit. Now's the chance to get out and about and kind of catch up on some of these things that we're behind on. So Cody's just going to finish his last cup of coffee before we get going. He did already grab the truck keys, so this one right here knows something's up and is refusing to leave the door area. <laughs> so besides the water tank that we have up in the loft, we have these two 18 gallon tanks of water um, that have nice spouts on them. And then we just have them up on like a black bucket to kind of lift them up so we can fill our water bottles and stuff. So this is, these are mostly just for drinking water. And then because they're down here, not up in the loft, it tends to be a lot cooler of water too, which we like. And then we have these three containers, which are all empty right now. We have one more in the kitchen that's still full, so we're not gonna be bringing that one. Um, but these ones we didn't clean before we came in here for winter, so they're a little bit dirty. They need cleaned before we use them for drinking water. So we're just gonna use them for like dish water, dog water, stuff like that, where it doesn't really matter um, how clean, I guess, the water's kept necessarily. Like it's probably fine, but just in case, it's not gonna be just plain drinking water. Yeah, so that's our water situation. Then besides that, we just have a couple duffel bags with laundry, which we pretty much just have, let's see. So we've got the two duffel bags. We always kind of just wait for those to get filled before we decide to do laundry next. It's a pretty good batch and it fits in the washers pretty well. And then we've got our three drawstring bags, which has all of our shower stuff. So one has towels, one has like the shampoo, soap, stuff like that. And then the other one has the clean clothes to change into. So this is kind of the setup we're currently working with. And I will say, without a doubt, there has been at least one time that we have forgotten something. Everything. We've forgotten everything at least once. So we're kind of, we're getting our system figured out. We're doing a lot better with remembering things. Which, flip-flops, where are those? Pretty sure I keep them in the truck now. In the truck? Hopefully our flip-flops are in the truck then when we get down there. Um, today specifically, we need to remember to bring a shovel because we did get about, I don't know, four to six inches of snow in the past couple days. So we're going to have to shovel out the truck when we get down there. But besides that, oh, and some headlamps. Because we always get back in the dark. But besides that, I think that's everything. We just need to kind of load it all up into the snow machine bring it down to the truck, load it into the truck, and then we can get on our way. Um, we're also going to be picking up mail today since we're going to be in town. And this also is not a permanent solution, the showering and laundry. Um, hopefully, we'll have another chance at a well, and once that gets established here, then we will have a permanent setup for showers and laundry here. But in the meantime, that's just not how it's, that's not how it's going to go in here. It's too hot. You're already dressed and ready to go. You don't need to be over here. Where's her boots? <laughs> her boots that come off in three seconds. Yeah. Get lucky. My backpack I'm also going to leave in here <clears throat> until everything else because I'll put that on over my coat. Okay. Yep, yeah, we just officially have to have one. Get. 
Do you want to No. Just doesn't slide backwards very well. Oh. It's almost always on the opposite side that I'm trying. in the box. Probably don't need the snowshoes. Garbage. That was heavy. There was one other thing that we're bringing with us, and that is a bag of garbage. It's pretty much just anything that we can't burn. We kind of just let it build up, and then once we have enough and we do our next trip to town, we bring it. Um, at the same place that we do shower and laundry, they also have garbage there too. You just go inside pay for however many bags you have and then they have a dumpster that you can dump it in so it's actually pretty nice that everything's pretty much just in one spot for us. Make sure it starts. Good call. the GoPro has officially died now so the rest of this video will be captured on my phone which only has the front working camera and Cody's phone which both do. I right, go inside.
few of our trips are in opposite directions from our main road, but we're on the park's highway now. Dog keeps coughing, and she's got something stuck in her throat. Um, we're on the main highway right now, and we're heading towards kind of the turnoff for the Telkeetna Spur. Um, I think it's called the Telkeetna Y, or just, a, just spur. the Y. It's the Spur. The Everybody Spur. Calls it the y, though. Okay, so we're gonna kind of be in that area, which we'll come back to later. But we're gonna drive past it right now, and we're gonna head all the way out to Trapper Creek to get mail, do laundry, showers, and um, we have that one bag of garbage to drop off. So there's cubbies. They have really good food. And then here is the Y, the spur to go off to Telkeetna. And then the gas station that we stop at pretty frequently. And as soon as this baby's out of me, I'm going to Subway. But we're heading straight this way to Trapper Creek. Cubbies Marketplace Foods, I think is what it's called. Not the full word. Um, it is. It's just like a little grocery store up here. It's the closest one that we have to us. Um, but they have this little section inside of it that they do like hot food too. And that's IGH. IGH or IGA? Oh, it could be IGA. Uh, I think it's IGA. I don't know. It says on the sign. But they also have really good pizza. That's where we always go to get pizza. Unless we're making it. Well, yeah. When we're out and about and we stop and we get pizza. It is a little bit pricier because it's out here further. Um, so we don't get like all of our main hauls of groceries there, but it is a, it is pretty convenient just to have a place to stop and pick up a few things. So we'll probably do that on the way home because it has been, it's been a little bit since we've stocked up. It's been a bit since we've been out, me at least. interested gas here right now is 319 as of today but we are going to that little building which is the post office first we're gonna go pick up some mail mail we only had one package today and we are now making a little side stop at wall mics to kind of see if they need any shoveling done and just to say hi we like to stop here they have candy bars that we like to get to as a treat How is it shoveling? It's fine. Not that much snow. No. This is the score. Candy bars. A little treat, which is good because I was getting hungry. <laughs> All right. Now off to showers and laundry. Yep. And garbage. So laundry and showers is on the back side of this Three Bears gas station. And Cody's already inside with all of our stuff. Laundry time. So we do not need to show our dirty laundry, but we're gonna fill up these machines, get them started, and then shower while they're going. Just 
just because we're extra dirty, it'll get an extra scoop. Shower, so we we'll back once we're clean. So we just got done with showers and laundry, and with both of those, it's just um, quarter based. So just right there in the maintenance room area, um, you can just kind of like there's they have the machine where you put in the dollar bills and it gives you quarters. <laughs> Cody just ran inside because the garbage you have to go in um, and then pay for your bags before you dump it. So he just went and did that. So now we're gonna swing around the back of the building again and we're gonna go dump off our bag of garbage in the dumpster and then we're gonna go get water. Oh, that is full. We can fit one more bag in there. So we just pulled up to get water. Um, there's a couple of cars here. I think we're gonna let them kind of finish up and then we'll squeeze in and take our turn. But I'm not gonna go down to where the water is because it can be a little bit icy. So just Cody's gonna go. And then while he's doing that, I'm probably just gonna walk the dog up and down the highway <laughs> on the leash because we're not gonna take chances. Cody said it isn't too slippery today, so I guess we're going to try to walk down with the dog. Hey, if you pull, I'm going to be so mad. I've never seen it this slow. Normally we can see water down here too. This is the water jug I melted by setting too close to the fire. Yep. <laughs> Your face is covered in snow now. So the other vehicle that was here before us left, so now Cody can back the truck up so it's a little bit closer. He doesn't have to carry those ones quite as far. 
but all of the jugs are filled so we just need to load them up and then we are going to head to cubbies and probably get a couple groceries maybe something to eat for dinner and then head home water jugs, flowered in snow. <laughs> all of our stuff is kind of spread out all over the place. Um, we're gonna work on getting that put away, but more importantly, we bought eggs today. And that has been the trickiest thing to get to the property with the snow machine without breaking them. So we're gonna check that first and get that cleaned up if we have any broken. Last time Cody brought eggs, he brought a dozen eggs home and I think only half of them made it, half of them were broken. So. Not a very good record, but let's see, because we have gotten them here without breaking any at all. All right, we kept them. As you can see, the bag in the parking lot broke and the eggs fell in on the ground. So if they survived that, I'm gonna be very impressed. She's being nosy. Ooh. Actually though, That's fine. Ooh, I think they all made it. What do you think, Irie? They made it. All right, not for you, back up. Last time you had an egg, you peeped it up. So I don't know if I mentioned before, but those two tanks of water that we get, especially with them both being filled up, that lasts us for at least two months. Just for, because I mean, we really just fill up our water bottles with it. So that's gonna, that's gonna pretty much last us until we can be hauling trips with the truck and going back to doing like big tanks of water. So this could very well have been the last time that we had to fill those, which feels pretty nice. Now, these ones that are only six gallons, um, we pretty much go through about one of those a week. We use it for dishes and dog water mostly. Sometimes, well, what in, hey, Okay, whatever. So we use it for dishes and dog water, but we also use it to fill the kettle up here just to kind of like steam and humidify the air. So we have about 
go through about one of those a week, so those won't last us very long. Hello, someone needs attention. Yeah, do you want to collar off of you? On the way down to the truck, the first trip, when the dog was running in front of us, we came across a moose, but she didn't spot it yet, and we were able to stop and call her back to us. I cannot do this with one hand, and she was being very good about it. Yeah. That was the second time she was running with us when we came across a moose on the trail. So far, no bad incidents with it. All of them have just been pretty cool. Far enough away that we just sit there and wait long enough for the moose to decide to get off the trail. And then, and then we can keep going on our way. But yeah, so, okay. Quick belly rub and then I need to put stuff away. So I'm not really sure how, like, hodgepodge this video is going to be. Um... It's kind of weird doing like a, I don't, it's not really like a day in the life, but it's like a kind of, cause this is pretty much all that we've done today. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much what a day looks like if we need to make a trip out, get water, get some groceries, do mail, shower, laundry. I don't know. We kind of just, like I said, everything was just water themed today. So yeah, it's a pretty best we got, hopefully. <laughs> Um, our plan is to buy a new GoPro. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how the quality of taking this on my phone went. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Things happen. You just kind of have to roll with the punches. This one's pretty good at it. Yeah. All right. Time to put everything away now.